Hello guys, how's everyone doing today? Thank you so much for stopping by. Smartphone these days are getting larger and larger. This is the iPod Touch 7th generation from Apple. And we can go ahead and toss this giant enormous brick out of here. Yes, we don't need that anymore. Let's take a look here. So, this would be a great for a workout buddy or for a kid who wants to always take your smartphone. You can actually give them this. 7th generation iPod Touch really hasn't changed much. Uh, it's just still the same body design. I believe this display is a 4 inch display, a little bit larger than like what the previous generations are, but it does have the physical home button. I know a lot of people miss that. Now it's all swipey, touchy things. Look at the packaging here, it's pretty nice. Apple definitely does a good job with the packaging. The particular model we're going to look at is the 256 gigabyte version, but you can get a 32 and you can get a 128. There's no 64 gigabyte option available okay so let's just go ahead and get this opened up now you can get this in several different colors this is the hot pink version but you can also get this in space gray i believe you can get this in blue you can get in gold and product red all right so i went ahead and got the top opened up and it just flops down and it should just pop right off here and now let's take off the plastic top very nice Okay, so let's just take a look here. So you do have an 8 megapixel camera, there is a flash, there's a speaker, so it does offer Wi-Fi calling, and if you pair up to your uh, Apple ID, you actually will get text messages through here, uh, through iMessages, and this is the antenna radio, so this supports Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth, there's no cellular option. You need a headphone jack, and it still has the lightning port. Keep in mind the new iPad mini has the USB type C, so it's kind of interesting that they still have the lightning port right there. Model speaker right there. Now up to this side, you have uh, two uh, buttons for the volume locker, and that's everything there. And there's your power switch right there. This. So it looks like we include some headphones, very nice. I don't think the new iPhones include headphones. And here's the standard lightning jack. Keep in mind, the newer Apple products are going with USB Type-C. And here's your headphones right here. And some basic literature how to get started. And they do include some nice Apple stickers as well. Thank you, super tiny. Okay, so I got everything paired up. I've been using this guy for a few days now. And overall, the setup process is pretty straightforward. If you have an iOS 11 device or later, you can just bring it over and it automatically syncs over all your data. Now, let's talk about the pros and cons, the downsides first. Take a look at these headphones. Now, personally, I don't mind the feel of the headphones. They look okay. But my biggest gripe is the fact that this particular version does not have a wired remote control. So, sadly, I can't control the volume my assistant or change the next or previous tracks. Now, if you're spending 200 bucks on a device, really Apple should include a wired headphones with the remote control. So toss these aside and get yourself a nice wired headphone set or Bluetooth set. Okay, so my next complaint is in terms of accessories, you don't get a USB brick. I know a lot of you have a ton of USB bricks laying around, so it's not a huge issue, but really, if you could just include an extra one, it's not a big deal. It's just a nice little touch. Okay, so the next thing is the music player. Even though I primarily going to use this for my music, uh, one interesting thing is you have to individually download each song or album. You can't just say download all. Now, this is extremely important if you're using a device that relies on Wi-Fi. Sometimes in an area where I don't have Wi-Fi available or I'm not near a hotspot. So it's nice to have your music on the device. So those were just my gripes. Overall, it's been mostly positive. And if you're looking for a device that won't break the bank or you don't want to lug around your tablet or iPhone, I think this is a good device for the running or jogging or maybe for the gym or just the office where you want to kind of step away from your uh, iPhone. Now, keep in mind, you do have access to your email. You can do your iMessages. So yes, all your text messages do come through. Uh, now, if you're an Android user, you may not get the text messages, so just keep that in mind. Also, you can FaceTime other iPhone users, so that's really nice. My whole entire family uses iPhone, so it's not a huge issue. So just keep that in mind. If you have a mixture of iPhone users or Android users, you might not uh, have so much luck. Okay, 
So this particular device is using the A10 uh, Fusion chip, which is an older chip. I believe it was out on the iPhone 11. Correct me if I'm uh, wrong. Now, overall, it's pretty snappy. I'm able to run most of my arcade games. Now, more intense games like uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 or newer games that require AR may struggle a bit. So if you're a gamer and you want the best performance, I definitely recommend something different. Now, um, I do like this form factor of this device. It definitely took me a while to get used to that smaller 4-inch display, but after just a few minutes with it, I definitely didn't find that that small display was an issue. And of course, I can feed my little monster and he's uh, happy. All right, so as a just a basic device, listening to music, or watching movies, streaming movies, maybe get checking up on email, the weather, I think the iPod Touch is a fantastic device. Now, granted, there's cheaper options out there. There's some Android devices that are aimed for kids for probably a fraction of the cost. So if you want to go that route, I definitely recommend checking those out. Um, 200 bucks, even at a starting price point, can be a little expensive for a small child. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And if you have any questions about the iPod Touch, feel free to shoot a link down below. I'll be more than happy to try to answer it. I'm not too uh, familiar with these devices, but I have used uh, iPhones and tablets in the past. So I'll try to give my uh, user experience based on what I know. All right, so thanks so much. Have a great rest of your day. Adios. See you later.